next the razor's edge. And New York has one of the greatest film openings ever seen anywhere. The diplomatic world attends the party of the Greek ambassador. From the United Nations Assembly, Chief American Delegate Austin with Mrs. Austin, Secretary of State Burns and Mrs. Burns, and the Ambassador of France. Shipwreck Kelly and wife, the former Brenda Frazier, and the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Frank Sinatra, the voice with police protection against Bobby Soxers. Paulette Goddard among a galaxy of film stars. Maureen O'Hara at the gala premiere. And there's William Ide. Edmund Golding, director of The Razor's Edge. And Clifton Webb and mother, he plays in the picture. And Tyrone Power and wife Annabella attend the dazzling premiere of the film drama in which he is a star. Nor would the premiere be complete without Gene Tierney, who also stars in the new screenplay. columnist Ed Sullivan presents movie crowns to 20th Century Fox star Tyrone Power and to Jeanette MacDonald. 20 million readers of the Chicago Tribune News Syndicate have selected their 1939 movie King and Queen, Tyrone Power and Jeanette MacDonald. Tyrone, or rather your majesty, I give you this crown which is definite and tangible evidence that you are the number one man of the screen for 1939. Thank you, Ed. I, uh, I don't know what a king's supposed to do, but I'll try to be worthy of this honor conferred on me by the many newspapers who sponsored this, or this contest and the many fans who sponsored me. Jeanette, speaking on behalf of your millions of loyal subjects, I give you this crown, which is an expression not only of their admiration, but also of their affection. Thank you, Ed. Ty, may I add my congratulations? Thank you. Very nice sharing this honor with you. Incidentally, I have an idea I'm the envy of all the girls throughout the country. <laughs> well, Jeanette, you're not only a queen in the hearts of your men millions of fans, but also in the hearts of us in Hollywood, who have the added pleasure of knowing you not only as an artist, but as a grand person. <laughs> Long may you reign.